Hey guys, we are here with David Suarez here in Indonesia. I want to check out the awesome animals he's got here. He's got some ball pythons that I've never even seen in the U.S. So it's a pretty impressive collection we got going on. You're watching Triple B TV. like very into the inside of your intestines. How did you get into reptiles? So first, uh, when I remember 10 years ago, I went to a fish shop and then I saw a corn snake for the first time. Albino corn snake, I really remember that one at that, that time. So you were going to look for fish and you ended up seeing snakes and yeah, fell in love with yeah. the snakes. I asked the guy, can I touch that? I see the color is so pretty. And then he said, yeah, just, just pick it up. Uh, it's okay, it's not venomous. And then I just pick it up. And I fell in love uh, directly that time, yeah. So then, then how long have you been into ball pythons? I kept so many reptiles before, uh, snakes uh, particularly. Uh, I keep color breeds at first, and then corn snake, middle snake, and then I got uh, my first ball pythons, a normal ball pythons. I just fell in love. I just, I just told myself that uh, I have to work with these ball pythons. He's got some of the most amazing ball pythons that we don't even see in the States. Stuff, some stuff that hasn't been produced in the States yet, right? Yeah. So um, we, we picked out a few of his favorite animals we're going to take a look at them now. Okay. So what do we have here? Some kind of leopard, uh, lesser, yeah. clown of course. Actually it's just leopard, lesser, fire, pester clown. So it's a butterfly leopard clown. Wow. Yeah. All the animals we're about to look at, you produced all these animals. Yeah, I produced all of them. One piece of finger? <laughs> <laughs> This guy here is Leopard Killer Queen Bee. I name it Gumball. It's already on World of Ball Pythons. You say Gumball? Yeah, Gumball. Nice. This is the next generation. Wow. What was the pairing that produced this animal? Gumball frog to a clown. So it's head clown. Nice. I can't wait to meet the clown version of this. Yeah, the clown version <laughs> of that is gonna be stunning, man. The thing is that snake is already I love the way Het Clown kinda influences Yeah, the color. Yeah, the color and the pattern. It's it really kinda Sometimes it's to... it's brighter. Right. Yeah. This is there's a yeah, lot going on yeah. here, isn't it? Wait, this is a what a This is a lesser Lesser Enchi Leopard Pinstripe Pastel. Yeah. Leopard Enchi Lesser Pinstripe Pastel. Yeah. Do you have a shorter name? <laughs> you name it. <laughs> I would never guess those, I mean all of those, it's, it's, there's so many, this, it's like purple and yellow. I don't know if you yeah, guys can yeah. see on camera, but the snake is like this faded kind of lavender color with this, ah, I, the, the yellow is something very familiar. I feel like it was some kind of Indonesian food I've eaten on this trip. Okay. <laughs> durian, can we call it the durian ball? Oh uh, sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> durian ball, wow. Alright, so you're just gonna have to, okay wait, of course clown. Yeah. Lesser. Yeah. Pastel. Yeah. Spider? Sure. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you just agreeing with everything I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a queen bee clown. Queen bee clown. Yeah. Clown is actually my favorite. More Mine too. The force. Yes. Mine too. Uh, this guy, that's why we got along with this guy. He's got good taste. That's what it is. <laughs> durian clown? Is that going to be a durian clown? <laughs> I like I think durian. durian is a... Yes. I, I'm a big fan of durian. Anything durian. Durian ice cream, durian snakes. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So David recommended that I hold these next couple snakes, which yeah. is absolutely fine with me. Look at that beauty right there. So this is a lavender blade clown. Yeah. Look at that. I don't think we have any of these in the States at all. Uh, you guys have. We do. Yeah. We do. I, I just don't know anything. That's the problem. Wow. Look at that. Look at the head. The head is perfect. The deepness of the orange, the... Wow. That's some amazing work here, man. So what was the pairing that produced these, this animal? Uh, this came from a clown head lavender to lavender head clown. Two heads? Clown head lavender to lavender head clown. Visual head. All right, all right. Awesome. That's what I love about ball pythons, man. You can just, you, I just feel like you can pick up any ball python in the world and even if it bites you, it's like it's gonna be a, a walk in the park. When you're showing them off to new people, I like to teach a lot of people about snakes and when you're handing somebody a snake for the first time, I feel like a ball python is just the way to go. Yeah, right? sure. Well, that's the best for the, the newcomers. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. Now we can do business. Jeez. Are you guys seeing this? You see how bright these animals are? I mean, I'm, you know, I'm putting on my sunglasses is partially a joke, but not really. Not really, man. Now I feel like I can actually, I can actually see them with the sunglasses on. Let me see. Let me check one more time. 
Yeah, no, gotta keep the sunglasses on. So what do we got going on here, David? This is Super NC combo. That one with leopard and this one without leopard. Super NC pinstripe pastel, that one leopard and this one not leopard. Okay. Both head clown. Both head clown. Yeah, that's what makes the color pop. Yes, absolutely. Oh, you take this one, this one's kind of feisty. <laughs> <laughs> I like feisty. My favorite snakes are feisty. Okay, so this snake, this is the one that actually caught my eye at his table at the show. I was walking by and I was looking at all the different animals that were sitting around and I saw a couple really good looking ball pythons and I kept looking down the line I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, what is going on here? This is not just your average ball python. What, can you tell us what's going on here? It's still a secret. Still a secret. <laughs> all right, all right. See, that's what it is. I knew there was something about this one. It's so special that he can't even, he won't tell us. We'll have to hold him up to the flames later or something. <laughs> we'll get it out of him one of these days. So, can you give us a hint on a couple of things? It's a desert genetic stripes plus something. Desert genetic stripe yeah. plus something. Okay. So we're gonna stay tuned to figure out what that something is. You're gonna have to check out David, make sure you follow his page <laughs> if you wanna find out what else is going on here. I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I'm not getting special treatment here. <laughs> I don't get to know what it is either. So your page would be David Suarez Reptiles? Yeah, David Suarez Reptiles in Facebook. It's one more animal we're gonna look at here today. Too bad it's in shed. It's in shed, that's the story yeah. of our lives, right? We go to shove a snake and it's in shed. That's what happens to me every single time. <laughs> This is the best one I produced last year, 2016. Uh, NC Lavender Clown. NC Lavender Clown. Yeah, this is actually the first one. First one in the yeah, world. So. And it's in shed. See, that's the way it works every time. But even in shed, this thing is pretty stunning. You can just tell the cleanliness of the line, especially coming down the tail here, the dorsal. Yeah. The way that NC really cleaned it up is just ah, it's phenomenal, man. I can't wait to see this one when she grow older. And then how will she look like? Yeah, when the lavender really starts to come yeah, in? Yeah. yeah, definitely. That's going to be an amazing animal. I'm going to be following you along to see what that looks like for sure. Well, David, we really appreciate you having us in your shop, man, and showing us all these awesome animals. It's been a pleasure, dude. So yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome, look forward man. to everything you're going to do going forward. It's been amazing to see so far. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure to check out David. David Suarez Reptiles on Facebook if you want to see more of these awesome animals. All right, guys. Till next week, I don't know what we're doing, but it's going to be awesome. Y'all take care.